It's madness angry dog walkers blast beach ban as owners face 75 pounds fine. The decision prevents owners from walking their pooches by the sea at certain times throughout the summer. Those who ignore the ban face a fine of 75 pounds and possibly further prosecution. The restrictions are currently in place across UK counties, starting as early as March in some areas and last until September 30. Many pet owners believe the timings of the restrictions are just madness. Don Ewing, 45, lives in the beautiful town of Street Ives, Cornwall, visited by tourists throughout the summer for its good weather and golden beaches. She claims the ban has left most beaches empty between 7 p.m. 9 a.m. as well as having a detrimental impact on tourism throughout the day. M. Zhuang has started to document everything by creating a Facebook page Dog on Chain, Street Dives Empty Beaches to host her images. She told Express.co.uk, I started the Facebook page out of sheer frustration having to walk my dog past empty beaches every day. Easter came early this year so the ban be in late March but the beaches weren't being used. The restrictions made no sense. The aim was really to have a record of how little they are actually used out of high season when the dog ban is on, beautiful beaches left unused. They are busier in the middle of winter on a rainy day because dog owners can actually use them, it's just madness. Dog owners face 75 pounds fine if they walk pets on the beach from toad apes colon slash slash t dot co slash y 4 g 3 calls hash dogs be allowed on UK beaches throughout summer? M. Ewing, a full-time mum, believes the times of the band should be changed to cater for everyone, not only dog walkers. There are currently only two beaches in the street Ives area that do not fall under dog walking restrictions yet she believes they are too inaccessible for buggies and less able walkers. She added, I fully support the ban in high season and school holidays if necessary, as would most responsible dog owners but the beaches are there to be used, not left empty, reserved for nobody, somebody should be enjoying the beaches. The ban also creates problems in children's play parks which become overrun with dogs when restrictions are in place and yet children are part of the community the dog ban supposedly protects. Many families within the community own dogs and need a suitable outside space to share with them. Elderly residents who cannot travel easily and live in town should be able to walk to their local beaches with their dogs. Many have supported M. Zhuin in her campaign to raise awareness over the impact the ban is having on the local area. One Facebook user said, Well done. The evidence you're gathering shows how ridiculous this blanket ban is. No one wants full access just a sensible common sense solution that doesn't discriminate against one section of the community in favor of another. Another said, So locals pay rates all year. Support the local economy all year. But in high season, they can't walk their own dogs on their own beaches. Why not take it a step further and unban all locals from the most popular pubs? M. Zhuang says the current restrictions are up for review next year and she hopes suitable changes are made to the scheduling. However, she believes these problems stretch further than just Cornwall. Beaches in Kent, Essex, North Tyneside, Yorkshire, Lincolnshire. North Tyneside and many more counties currently have the new dog walking rules in place. The ban has faced scrutiny in the past. Two petitions last year, one in Devon and in Dorset, received more than 3,500 signatures respectively. Another petition this year from residents in Whitby, Yorkshire is protesting the 2018 changes to the area covered by the restrictions. It states, We believe the extension to be unnecessary unsafe and discriminatory. Those affected the most were completely unaware of either the consultation or the proposed extension. We therefore consider it undemocratic. Harry Brigg, Environmental Enforcement and Contracts Manager at Scarborough Borough Council said, We do try and strike the right balance. We proposed it to the public, sought their views and 85% of people supported that extension. So it seems perfectly reasonable then for us to include that in the final order. It's quite difficult now to look at changing something that's only just been put into place. A spokesperson for Cornwall County Council said, We appreciate that dog owners like to be able to walk their dogs on beaches, 
However we also appreciate that not everyone likes or enjoys sharing public spaces with dogs. The restrictions in place are the result of extensive consultation with residents, as well as requests from town and parish councils. More than 3,700 people took part in our consultation in 2016 with the majority agreeing with keeping the controls which were already in place. We plan to carry out further consultation in 2019 to once again seek views on the restrictions in place.